In this presentation, we will discuss PCL5 bond length with respect to hybridization and the involvement of S character. In this topic, we will discuss why length of axial bond is more than the equatorial bond in PCL5 based on its hybridization. Before we should understand the effect of S character on the electronegativity. Electronegativity of S character is relatively high, as the electron in this orbital is held tightly. Therefore electronegativity increases, as the S character increase and vice versa. The table is shown below which depicts the relation between S character and electronegativity. PCL5 is sp3d, hybridized, with a trigonal, bipyramidal structure. This structure can be disassociated into two parts, sp2 and pzdz square. The sp2 is the planar part containing equatorial electron. The percentage of s character is more in this case. Therefore equatorial electron experience more electrongative. The pzdz square is the axial part containing axial electron. The percentage of s character is less in this case. Therefore axial electron experience less electronegativity. As axial region in PCL5, experience less electronegativity, therefore they are poly attracted to the central atom, and hence, the length of axial bond increases. Similarly the equatorial region in PCL5, experience more electronegativity. Therefore, they are strongly attracted to the central atom, and hence, the length equatorial of bond decreases. In this presentation, we learn why the length of axial bond is greater than the equatorial bond in the case of PCL5 with respect to hybridization. We also learned which d orbital is involved in PCL5 that is dz square. Before leaving, let us discuss some questions. Do PF5 exhibit the same property as shown by PCL5 with the difference in bond length? Thank you. Hope you like this presentation.